Okay, so I'm off. Uh, it's a pretty easy climb actually. It may not look like it, but it is pretty easy. There are so many handholds. It's uh, yeah, it's an easy climb. Uh, but it's kind of steep. You uh, you could theoretically hurt yourself. Now, since I get up there, I'll see if it's possible to get any further. And the good news is that I think it may be because that little bit is underwater. So so far, I should be able to get across. Yay! Fingers crossed. Well, I think I'm gonna make it because I'm now down on the valley floor on the other side of the waterfall. Uh, there is much more water here on the bottom of the valley, but it's much uh, much shallower, so I'm usually able to just wait it. And this is the sticking point because right here that I've just walked, this whole thing may well be underwater. You don't know that till you get up. Uh, the waterfall wasn't very big this year, so I was hoping that I would find something like this, and I'm very grateful that I did. And look, the tree growing just out of the cliff wall and oh all the things I see uh, this is the stroke of good luck mission accomplished I think again the lushness of the valley is just amazing this thick grass all the other plants the moss the trees it's just amazing flowers Fantastic. More water. Water everywhere in Wild Man's Valley. Just amazing. And as we pass through here, yeah. Here is where the real waiting starts. Okay, I thought about just waiting across here but the rocks are so slippery that I would prefer to walk alongside here if I possibly can as far as it's humanly possible. So I'm going to try to cross here instead. And again, wish me luck. Success! I'm across, again with kind of cold feet, but not a problem, especially since the sun is out and everything. And I get to walk on land and not in this freezing water on the rocks which are very slippery as you can probably imagine and I'm almost to the end of the valley now as you can see I'm nearing the end of the valley at least the end of the sort of hikeable valley it continues way 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 up through there but the, the end of Wildman's Valley when you're taking the hike ends here and I climb up and I'm going to show you what it looks like just a few meters straight up and it's just amazing the difference from this incredible area as you see with ferns, moss grass, flowers, all kinds of plants, trees, bushes, everything growing all over here. And what you're going to see when I get up just a few more meters up that way. But first, a walk through cold water. Nothing but water in the entire valley floor. And a walk. I'm across the water onto the last bit of land here. And now, I just have to go a little bit ahead and then up. And yeah, it's wet, wet, wet all over. More water than usual again. That's the path up from the valley. Okay, I am ready to climb up out of Wild Mount Valley. where I'm standing by the waterfall, the second waterfall, and this is the path I'll be taking up. And then you'll see just the last bit of this video, which is pretty amazing if I do so myself. Okay, just one more look before I show you the real contrast. So you here, the valley does continue, but it becomes pretty much impossible from here on out with uh, just more and more of these waterfalls and cliffs and uh, yeah, the hike kind of ends here, but it's still very beautiful. You can walk alongside it all the way to where the valley ends, right up there. See the mountains in the far distance, and right up there is where I'm heading now. That outcrop of rock there is where I was standing when I filmed the last part. You can hear the waterfall that I showed you. Here is the regular mountain area. 
that's where I'm climbing. And let's move on up. And it's just crazy now. There's nothing but rock. A little bit of lichen and moss. A few very typically mountainous plants. Uh, a few grasses, birches, and what have you. Basically, nothing. And already, let's turn to this barren mountain landscape. You can see all around me now, and just down there, it's the valley. With such a totally, totally different climate and flora, and it's just amazing to me. Here is the surrounding area on top of the valley sides. So, that's been my annual hike, 2009. Uh, for the Wild Man's Valley in Rondana in central Norway. Whew. I'm just now about an hour and a half to get home again. Yay! Thanks for sticking with me this far. Further down, down by the lookout point. 